All right, so we reached the end of another strange and crazy NFL season, season full of fines, big hits, uh, huge disappointments, and now we have the wild card weekend to speak of. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and call out my picks for this weekend. Uh, I'm going to just get right to it. Uh, let me get, let's see, first game up. First game this coming Saturday, I gotta scroll to it real quick, will be New Orleans at Seattle. Now, Seattle um, has a stadium accustomed to their 12th man being the loudest stadium right next to Arrowhead Stadium. Um, I'm predicting an upset. There have been, it looks like there have been some key injuries uh, to Primarily New Orleans in this one as they've lost um, Pierre Thomas, uh, Chris Ivory, and uh, I don't know if there are any other injuries that they speak of. So my upset pick is going to be Seattle in this one. Seattle is tough to play in the playoffs. Uh, being a Redskins fan, I've experienced that on two occasions where we had a chance to beat Seattle. One, because of the 12th man, because we screwed up. But that's the Redskins. But somehow I managed to get the Redskins in the playoffs by mere mention. All right, so my pick on that is Seattle. Uh, next game for Saturday will be, which will be a good matchup between the Jets and the, and the Colts. Uh, this game is going to be played in Indianapolis as Indianapolis won their division because of Jacksonville losing and Indianapolis winning. Um pretty hard pick. I'm going to pick Indianapolis on this one. Uh, the Jets have a good defense, but um, Indianapolis somehow wins games in the playoffs. They beat the Jets last year, and they'll beat them again this year. So that's my pick on that. Um, then the Sunday's games, you have the first game, which good, they'll get it out the way first, will be Baltimore and Kansas City. Now, this is my other upset pick because, like I mentioned with the Seattle game, um, Kansas City, Arrowhead Stadium, is definitely one of those stadiums you don't want to play in in the playoffs. They have a large crowd, uh, loyal fan base, and they are pretty loud out there. So um, Baltimore better be wearing earplugs. Um, they better bring that defense of 2,000 up there because Kansas City has two running backs and a receiver waiting for that defense. And if that defense of Baltimore is on the field for two-thirds of the game, they're going to get tired. They're going to need their Geritol because they're all getting old. Air Reed's hurt. Uh, I guess I just found out Terrell Suggs, knee problems. Uh, he's questionable. Uh, so Kansas City is my upset pick. So you heard it here. Kansas City over Baltimore. And then the late game on Sunday will be Green Bay at Philly now. Philly's been struggling, and for the last two years going into the playoffs, Philly has always struggled and it hasn't panned out well. Now, the feel-good story of the year has been um, Michael Vick uh, emerging as the starting and now the future quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, pretty much the same Michael Vick, except the fact that he is dedicated himself more to the game. So he is a lot better passer now. He's a more threatening option on the offense, along with dangerous weapons and De and Deshaun uh, winning games against the Giants. <laughs> how that how that guy punted to him, I don't I don't understand. But so my pick in this one. I didn't even talk about Green Bay. It's not really much to talk about. They have a good offense. Uh, they have a nice defense. Uh, apparently, when A.J. Hawk is in the game, they do well. So they have a shutdown corner in Charles Woodson. So I'm, I'm signing with the NFC East. The Redskins beat Green Bay, so I expect Philly to beat Green Bay. So uh, Philly in that one. So. Uh, that was my picks for this week. Uh, next week, right now, four teams that are sitting waiting for these results to happen. Pittsburgh, New England, Chicago, and Atlanta. So, oh, and just for reference, um, I have a feeling that Pittsburgh won't, you know, last more than one game. As I think they will fall. They'll be the, they'll be the only one to fall next week. But my picks will probably change.
not this week's picks, but at least uh, next week's picks will change depending on the, how they seed out and so on and so on. But um, but that Pittsburgh pick is not going to change. They're going to lose the next round. So there you have it.